ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. About gunplay. I really want to talk about gunplay, then we're going to work our way down. So if y'all do not know, uh, rapper Gunplay, who used to be signed, he might still be signed, honey, to Rick Ross. Um, it was announced today that he was arrested for pointing a gun at not only his baby's mother, but also his baby. You know, the baby that he was crying about, uh, trying to shame people to, you know, get a GoFundMe, started that baby. So this is really disturbing. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip and also read to y'all what the baby's mother had to say. So give me just a second. I don't know what to do. Everything's acting right back here. Oh, that's right. All right, let me go ahead and share this. South Florida rapper Gunplay is in jail facing several charges this morning. Gunplay, whose real name is Richard Morales, is charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, false imprisonment, and child abuse. Morales is a cast member on Love and Hip Hop Miami. We are working to get more information from police with the details of this arrest, but the rapper's wife did post on Instagram that she and her daughter are safe. Okay, so let me go ahead and play you guys. I'm um, not play, but let me go ahead and read to you guys what she said on Instagram here. All right, so this is what she wrote on Instagram. Let me share this tab with you guys here. Okay, so she says, I want everyone to know that my daughter and I are safe. My daughter's safety is my first priority. Unfortunately, Richard is back using and developed a very bad drinking problem. I've tried everything in my power to help him and love him. This is a demon that he has to overcome on his own. At this point, I really believe it's too late. To summarize last night's events, I asked Richard to quiet down as he scared the baby, sleeping by yelling and playing Call of Duty. He started going off on me and asked for asking him to be quiet. I tried to collect the bag so my daughter and I could go to a room while he sobers up. He didn't want us to leave and things went left fast. He was arrested last night. The weapon is in police custody. I have a restraining order my daughter is in my custody and I'm filing for divorce. He will never get a chance to disrespect us again. Thank you all for the well wishes and the prayers. This was, very, this was a very traumatizing experience. Please keep me in your prayers. So that is what she had to say about the situation. Now, I have suspected for months that this man was back on coca, okay? I, I feel, you know, I just feel like he's in love with the coca, okay? He's had a drug habit since I was a damn child. Um, and, you know, the sad part is I felt like, I feel like sometimes women feel like they can change a man, especially if he's a man of status. Um, you know, it, it's, you know, how shocking is it that a man named Gunplay loves to play with guns? He didn't get that name for no reason. Gunplay has always had issues. Remember back in the day, he was on vacation and asked the police, he was out of the country, of course, and asked the police or some security guard where to go get cocaine. And then he snorted it on live. Remember it was on World Star Hip Hop back in the day? This man has always had issues, but you know, she thought that she was gonna be the one to change him. But remember, even before this whole situation with the gun thing, he was into it with, you know, DJ Envy, who's out here being put on blast, honey. They said DJ Envy allegedly is in very, very deep with Cesar Pina. Um, there's a guy named Pocket Watch and JT. Shout out to him. There, there's a light-skinned dude. I forget his name. He reminds me of, of uh, Rich from Love and Hip Hop. I forget his name. He's light-skinned. He's been keeping his foot on DJ Envy's neck. Shout out to him and then Tony the closing, okay? But before all of that, somebody said, check my volume, is it too loud? See, now first the volume was too low, now it's too loud. Turn your volume down, because I really don't want to play with it. Do I sound good? Yeah, remember Rich Dollars, the dude that be keeping his foot on him, he looks like Rich Dollars, but that's not his name. He's another YouTuber. He be exposing, he's been exposing DJ Envy. 
Eli, that's his name, Eli. Thank you, I couldn't think of his name. Okay, Eli. It's been him, this dude named Pocket Watch and JT. They had been on DJ Envy's neck, pulling receipts, going to the Wayback Machine. They're not allowing DJ Envy to separate himself from Caesar Pina whatsoever. So when y'all get a chance, y'all go ahead and sip on that tea, honey, because I'm here for it. So I, I just was reminded of that talking about this whole situation with gunplay. So if y'all remember, Gunplay had one off on DJ Envy because DJ Envy and Rick Ross were into it. And he was, you know, saying that Rick Ross uh, should have took care of the hospital bill for Gunplay's daughter. He shouldn't have had to go out and go get a GoFundMe. And Gunplay went off and basically stated that he was going to slap DJ Envy. OK, so I kind of felt like. That's kind of harsh, you know, what I'm saying, but whatever. That was about May. Then we had a situation with Gunplay's birthday. Thank goodness he's a Cancer, not a Leo, okay? Um, us Leos, we know how to act. We can't say the same for you Cancers, okay? No, so <laughs> Shout out to the Cancers. So anyways, he had a birthday party and he threatened to beat up the DJ. The baby mama was there. Oh, she was having a good old time with him, drinking. Um, you, social media had all types of excuses for him. Oh, the DJ should have known better. He should have known about his beef with 50 Cent. I don't know how old this DJ is. I don't know if he was, you know, he might be young and didn't know that he was beefing with 50 Cent. I don't know. But the DJ decided to play many men, which is weird. You know, maybe the DJ was trolling and being messy. But Gunplay went off and decided to threaten the entire club. Thre threatened to shoot up the club. Okay, a man named Gunplay. Shocker. Threatens to shoot up the club. Let's go ahead and watch this because social media had all types of excuses for him. Not even uh, a few weeks ago. Why would you play that? Why would you play that? Nah, 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 nah. Well, Doug, it wasn't like that, bro. I'm serious. enough gunplay for me okay so that was him hoping and hollering oh they had every excuse in the shade room the dj was foul he was trolling he should have known better okay maybe he was trolling that doesn't excuse him throwing shit up at the dj and threatening to shoot up the entire club i only heard one smart person say hey i'm getting out of here you ain't got to threaten to shoot up the club but one time with me he got his black ass out of there you see the baby mama trying to pull him back. He pushed the hell out of her. So I'm looking at all this like, this don't seem like a lovey-dovey relationship, you know, because like you're so mad at the DJ that you about to damn near knock down your wife. But okay, you know, again, social media excusing it. Um, and then we talked about this when he went onto my homeboy's podcast, uh, We in Miami, and he was going off on folks. Because remember, he went and he bought Rick Ross a fat ass diamond chain. Like Rick Ross was his baby mama. Got him a fat ass diamond chain. And so this was after people had uh, submitted money to his GoFundMe, right? So him and the wife were on GoFundMe. They started to GoFundMe. They were crying on Instagram, talking about the daughter's medical bills, you know, were very expensive and they need help. So, you know, people who are fans of love and hip hop and fans of gunplay and, and the wife, they all decided to donate. OK, so everybody went and donated. And then not even a few weeks later, 
he is like showering Rick Ross with this big ass chain. Very nice chain. It's nice and heavy. Diamonds is glistening. Okay. So you know the fans who donated money, they said, well, hurry up now. Something ain't cleaning the butt milk. I donated a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, you know, 50 bucks, two dollars to make sure your, your daughter was good. And now a few weeks later, you're gifting Rick Ross with a big ass chain. We know them loving hip hop checks ain't popping like that. So people were like, they went to GoFundMe and people started requesting their money back because they felt like if you can get Ricky Rose, who's already rich, a big ass diamond chain, you can pay for your daughter's medical bills. When I tell you, he went on to my homeboy's podcast and cussed everybody out. We talked about this a few weeks ago. We in Miami podcast, shout out to them. They're tea sippers. My Instagram is gone, y'all. So that's probably why y'all can't DM me. Go follow my backup page. But yeah, shout out to them. I, I fucks with We in Miami. So he went on their podcast and showed his ass. He was mad about people flagging his uh, GoFundMe after he gifted Rick Ross that beautiful gift. Every single one of you ass holes and Richard that went to GoFundMe and and donated and went and get a motherfucking refund. You never gave it with your heart. Mm. You a piece of shit. Oh God! You'll die that way, Richard. Mm. Not for real. I didn't even know you could do refunds on GoFundMe. That's crazy. But in ninety days, mm -hmm. people that see me give my brother a gift, they automatically want to say that I bought that with GoFundMe money. N had to pay that back. So now, if you really want to be for real, my if a nigga spun that on the chain, how the f they got it right back instantly right. with no pressure. Right. If that's what you you want your back here. Take it. Right. So all you and ass out there, fuck you. You never gave it from your heart, and you gonna die a piece of wow. Every single one of you. All right. Let me come back on the screen. So again, did y'all hear how he was talking to folks? He has a very, you know, seems very violent to me. So I'm not shocked at all. You know, the baby mama looked embarrassed as hell. And my thing is, people have the right to go back to GoFundMe and ask for their money back, Richard, okay? Um, just for the fact, like, it didn't look right. You can't cry to, to your supporters and your followers for money for your baby's medical bills. And when people do that, because I think he hit his goal at that, then they see you get this chain. People are like, well, hell, I got damn bills to pay. You, If you have money to gift Rick Ross, and I don't know how much that chain costs, then you can pay for the medical bills, you know? So for him to say that, you know, people should die and you're gonna die a piece of shit, I thought that was a bit much. So I, I've been suspecting for a while that there's something going on with him. I've been suspecting for a while that he's coked out his mind. But again, social media made excuses for him. Um, social media loved the fact that he went off on the DJ, but now he's gone off on the baby's mother. And I see a lot of people are clowning her and, you know, almost even blaming her. Um, I do think that she sat idly by for a while because, you know, it was gunplay and she got some type of fame from dating him and she was on Love and Hip Hop. But I will commend her for taking the steps to protect her and her child. That is the most important thing. You know, all jokes aside, at least she went and got a restraining order. She said she's getting a divorce and she's not dealing with this nonsense anymore. So shout out to her for doing that, for, you know, for just taking the correct steps as opposed to trying to make excuses and cover up for him. Um, she's done with it. And I don't blame her. That is a scary situation to have somebody who's drunk or high out their mind, pull out a gun on you. You know, how many stories have we heard or read about where guns were pulled out and they accidentally went off? You know, and then to know that he pulled out an AR-15 and pointed it at the child, the child that already has medical issues and has been fighting to survive, you know, these past six months is just heartbreaking. So I just think it's really sad. It is sad because I thought he was doing better. He seemed like he was on a better path. He left Love and Hip Hop alone. He got clean. He got with this new woman. They got married. They had the child. And, you know, maybe might be the pressure from Love and Hip Hop. You know, him being under more scrutiny. I don't know. But I think that whatever it is, there's no excuse for pulling out a gun 
on your wife and on your child. I think that is just, just deplorable. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, brother. I know you're into Santeria. I know you love rocking your Santeria beads, okay? You might need to pray to the ancestors for deliverance because you're doing a bit too much, okay, Mr. Hoodoo Voodoo? You're doing a bit too much, Gunplay, and I'm going to need you to do better. Because, again, I don't really worry about what adults get into, whatever. But when it comes to children, I don't play about the babies, okay? So you might need to, you know, set up a little altar, fresh water and fruit, something. Because I know this ain't been wearing the Santeria beads lately. You know, you wear, you're gifting, you know, diamond chains and shit. What happened to the plastic beads, Gunplay? Where are the Santeria beads? Okay? Let me stop. <laughs> Y'all remember what dope place where them damn Santeria beads? Hold up, y'all got to keep receipts. Y'all remember this? This was the old school gunplay when he had them thick ass uh, locks, them wits with them damn socks. Let me show y'all this. Give me just, y'all know I keep receipts, honey. You know, I used to be a fan of him and Rick Ross when they first came out. I remember me and my ex-husband, we went to their little concert in Charlotte. That way, look at that, okay? Remember the with the wits, honey? But now you done got some fame and loving hip hop. He said he gonna worship a new God. Now his new God's diamonds and gold and money. So I don't know. I'm just saying he might need to go back, honey, and you know, go back and speak to the ancestors, you know, ask for deliverance, you know, ask for prayer, you know, the same way you was dabbling in voodoo. So that way you didn't get locked up for life. Remember, you 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 skated around a life sentence because of voodoo. You was, you know what I'm saying, cutting pigeon heads and shit, dabbling, and you know what I mean? He was doing all types of rituals. It was, so he didn't get that life sentence, okay? So I'm gonna need you to like pray about it. Pray about it, okay? You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.